This is Engineer 775, just doing a product review on some cool tech. Wanting to uh, talk about this fuel cell. You can hear it right now, it's super quiet. The emissions, warm, moist air, water. <laughs> This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. Right now I have it set to trigger at a 75% state of charge on my battery. It, it comes on and it's using very little propane. I've been monitoring my propane usage. I've had it in for over a month. The needle hasn't moved, so it just provides a little boost. Could make up to 34 kW a day. And it's a bridge. As you see, the, the sun is coming up. So this has been running since the SOC dropped below 75%, which is of course adjustable. The 18K Solark is triggering when this starts. And now as the sun's coming up, my battery is gonna ramp up. You see the, see the cows making all the power. I mean the solar panels. See the cows are solar as well. You see how they're sideways to the sun. They maximize their absorption <laughs> so they can warm up as it was 30 getting cooler it was 32 this morning here in south carolina so you can see i'm getting full hard shadows i'm making good solar power right now and so that will uh kick that battery soc up and that will send a signal to the fuel cell to turn off so there's a lot of plans for this fuel cell as an alternative to the internal combustion engine generators. Again, my, the big plus here is the, the silence. So, so many of my customers are like, that thing's so loud and it's giving away my location. And from a preparedness standpoint, um, of course, it, it does make more power instantaneous than the fuel cell. This is like the tortoise and the hare approach to renewable energy. I'm only making about 1600 watts. But over time, it's just slow and steady. It's a really much more efficient on fuel than the generator. Uh, they claim eight times more efficient. So you can, you can hear it, but you can't hear it from far away. When I walked up to the building, I did not know that it was on. I walked in the powerhouse and saw the, I thought it was the air conditioner at first making a little bit of noise, but it was the fuel cell. So in here, again, it's the Solark 18K, just so you see that. So a couple of things. I have Helios batteries in closed loop comms through the Discover Gateway to the Modbus port. But um, I'm using Upstart Energy's Y connector so that it can also trigger the two wire start for the um, trigger the, the start for the um, fuel cell. So that's why I have, I got an ethernet cable run out through the back here to the upstart. And so again, what's, what the fuel cell is doing is matching the voltage of the battery. I have it directly connected to the combiner back here, my, my battery combiners. And so I'm charging at whatever rate I'm matching the voltage of the battery, which in this case is 54 volts. And so we're just dumping solar and the fuel cell output into this. And soon the solar, like I said, will shoot up because I'm making, I'm making good power. I'm charging, let's see, it's like 830 and I'm making about nine kilowatts. And uh, it's going to loads and going to the battery charging. So soon, these will be satisfied. The fuel cell will shut down. And again, it's a cool bridge at night to the next day that uh, allows you to use two things, a smaller battery and a silent solution to uh, charge the batteries. So let me know what you think. Um, this, the, um, the units can be paralleled, so it might be a little small. You're like, oh, that's 1600 Watts. That's nothing. But over time it's plenty. 
depending on how you size your battery and your system. And uh, so I don't have to hear that generator come on. I just use the fuel cell. You can put up to five of the fuel cells in parallel. Right now the cost is, you know, it's a, it's a new product. So it's expensive in that it's around $8,000 or more for that unit, but it is providing something that no other uh, generator solution can match at this time, and that's silence and efficiency. So been working with um, Upstart on this. They have a really cool app. I'm gonna show you some charts and graphs, and I won't give away too much. They don't want me to put all the charts and graphs out, but basically I'll show you um, the power curve and. You can see when it gets triggered at the 75% SOC and then when it goes off. And I'll show you some of those charts. There's all sorts of other charts on gas flow and nerdy hydrogen stuff. But again, it is a hydrogen fuel cell. It is not um, burning the hydrogen. So it's a 800 degree Celsius fuel cell. And uh, so I've been wanting, fuel cell technology has been around for a long, long time. I always wanted a tractor. Alice Chalmers made a tractor in the 50s that ran using um, a hydrogen fuel cell. So it is taking propane and converting the propane into hydrogen, taking, stripping the hydrogen out of the propane, and it, it filters out the uh, sulfurous smell of propane. So there's a lifetime filter for that. You don't ever have, there's no maintenance on this unit. At whereas batteries and filters and mice get in and all sorts of things that we run into with a typical generator backup. So uh, here I just added two, I added a separate regulator for the upstart to allow me to switch between the two energy sources. But this is more fun and this is more high tech and very, very cool. And at this point, it's just, it's running flawlessly and I'm having fun with it. So let me know what you think. I'll show you some charts coming up. Okay, we've been uh, running the Upstart Power Fuel Cell, the UpGen NXG fuel cell platform, which is a solid oxide fuel cell. Been running it almost two months now. And I trigger it at um, a 70% SOC. I wanted to run it often. And so when my battery hits 70%, it triggers the fuel cell to come on. I just want to see how it performs, how much power it actually produces. And uh, I can see that on a chart, like today it ran. It's a very cloudy, about to be rainy day. And this is just a chart showing uh, the fuel cell power. It was making about 1400 watts for three hours. And it was just, you can see, this is my, the yellow line is my battery SOC. Fuel cell gets going and then it rises. Of course, there's solar added to this as well. And then it triggers back off at around 90, well, about a 90, I think I hit 90%. So between 75% and 90% is where I'm operating with the fuel cell. Again, I'm converting propane into um, it's converting propane into hydrogen. So it uses a rhodium catalyst. It converts through uh, steam reforming and uh, to produce the hydrogen. You can produce hydrogen from propane, from natural gas. The beauty of that is everybody can get a hold of either natural gas or propane. And so instead of storing hydrogen, which is probably a future um, complementary project with the fuel cell, would be able to make and store your own hydrogen. That's something we've talked about. But until then, the propane is run through a filter to get rid of the, you know, the sulfur smell. Um, it's a lifetime filter. So it's a maintenance for unit, no moving parts. It's awesome. And it's producing a DC voltage that matches the battery. So again, this is something that's not standalone. It's something that you put with a battery backup system and it works. It's worked flawlessly um, since I've put it in. So having fun, um, we're going to continue to work with Upstart Power, uh, offering these fuel cells, installing them hopefully, and then also working on different scenarios like VPPs, um, time of use, um, 
just backup power, silent backup power. That's the beauty of it is it's absolutely, it's very quiet. You hear some fan noise. The, the exhaust is warm, moist air. The water is the, um, byproduct. So it's a great, great product. Um, it's very clean looking and mounts on the wall and you can parallel up to five of them at this point. So the cost right now is around $8,000. Uh, again, these are in the beginning stages of being offered. And I just, it's a, a great alternative to the ice generator concept, the internal combustion engine generators that are usually high maintenance. There's always a battery issue, rodent issue, uh, cold weather issues. A lot of the normal issues of having a, an engine that doesn't get run a lot sitting outside and, uh, being subjected to the elements and we've dealt with a lot of rodent damage on generators. So anyway, this is an, an alternative that is just working flawlessly. And, uh, let me know if you have any questions, appreciate any comments you might have about it. Mm -hmm.